Hello, this is Tai Yin for Gaslamp Media. In today's video, we're going to go over how Drupal's block system works. The goal of this video will be to show you how to create your own block, how to move them around into different regions, and how to control the visibility on a page-by-page -page basis. To get started, let's assume that you're logged in as the administrator or that you have admin rights. So let's go to the admin menu and go under the site building section and click on the blocks page. Now before we get too far, let's quickly go over how Drupal's templating system works. In a Drupal theme, there's a file called page.tpl. In that file, there's something called regions. In this particular theme, you'll see there's quite a few regions. You'll see that there is a header top, header, preface top, sidebar first, last, and so on. Now in these regions are where the blocks go. So if you scroll down just a little bit farther, you'll see that there's the blocks section here. And you'll see that these blocks, text size, this views block, user log, and so on, correspond to what's over here in the sidebar first. All right, so let's go ahead and add our first block. Find the add block link and click on that. And it will take you to the blocks page. but it's not quite active yet. If you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see that it's under the disabled section. And this is our block over here. Before we can see it, we need to assign a region for this block. How you can do that is you can either just drag it up to the region that you want to show. So let's say we wanted to put it in the node top region. We can just drag and drop or if you want something a little bit quicker and you know exactly where you want it to go, you can also just select it from the region menu. In our case, we want to put it in the sidebar first, which is going to be the left column when we save this. It should show up just over here. Scroll down to the bottom and click on Save Blocks. And there's a new block. Now let's say we wanted to move our widget from the left column to the right column. Let's just scroll down and find our block and let's just drag and drop it. And just scroll down to the bottom and hit save. Now along the same idea, you can also rearrange the order that blocks show up within a region. So over here, let's say we want the text size block to move down to the bottom. And on the right side, we want the Twitter widget to be first. So let's just move that there. And let's go down to the bottom and hit save.
Now you'll see that the text size is up at the top now, and so is our Twitter widget. Now by default, these blocks will show up on every single page. So as you can see here, we're just going to click through a couple of pages, and it's available on top of each page. Depending on your website, you may want your block to show up on only certain pages. So let's try that. Let's find our way back to the Blocks menu under the Administrator area, and go to Blocks. And now we're going to talk a little bit about the visibility settings. So let's find our block and click on Configure. And now let's say we only want it to show up on the home page. In Drupal, you have the option of either including or excluding. To include pages, to include blocks on certain pages, click on the second option, which is show on only the listed pages. Now for the home page, there's a little bit of a trick to it. The shortcut is the word front wrapped in brackets, which is in the description down here. So let's go ahead and try that and click on save. And now you'll see that it'll show up on the home page, but not any other. Now let's say that you want to have this block show up on another page. In this example, we're going to have it show up on the content page over here. To do that, you want to grab everything in the address bar after the root of the website. In our case, the root is demo.gasnetmedia.com slash template. So we just want everything after that. For most people, it'll be everything after the .com or .net or .org in your domain name. So here we're going to copy the, the text that says content slash content page. And let's make our way back to the block section. And click on configure. And let's add that to one of the other pages that we want to include. Hit save. And now you'll see that it shows up on the home page and this content page, but not any other one. Another situation that you might encounter is you want to show a block to only people who are either logged in or not logged in. An example might be a text or a graphic that you want to include that says, hey, register for our site. Well, if that's the case, then you don't want to have the block visible to people who have already registered. So let's try that. In this example, we're going to make this Twitter module only available for people who are not logged in. Again, let's make our way back to the blocks page and back to our block, and then click on Configure. Where you want to go is under the role-specific visibility settings. Here you'll see anonymous users. That's Drupal speak for people who are not logged in or don't have an account, or authenticated users for people who are logged in. Since we only want it to show for people who aren't logged in, Let's check the anonymous user option and scroll down and hit save. So since we're logged in, we aren't going to be able to see this. And of course, if we log out, it'll now be visible.